This is CNN Breaking News. All right, everyone, it is midnight on the East Coast. I'm Don Lemon. Our breaking news tonight, five people killed uh, as an Amtrak train derails north of Philadelphia. The information coming in just now from the mayor and from officials in Philadelphia, at least 50 people are hospitalized. Six of those, we are told, are in critical condition this evening. Amtrak's Northeast Regional Train 188, traveling from Washington to New York City, Washington to New York City, 238 passengers, five crew members on the train when it derailed in that section of Philadelphia. Hospitals across Philadelphia are uh, receiving patients at this hour uh, as rescuers work feverishly uh, at the scene uh, to try uh, to make sure that everyone is out of that scene. The FBI is assisting in this investigation as well. But so far, there is nothing to indicate the derailment was an act of terrorism, and that information is coming from the FBI. Amtrak has canceled all service between Philadelphia and New York, all service between Philadelphia and New York. And the railroad asks people with questions about friends and about family members on board that train to call this number. Here it is for you. It's 1-800-523-9101. Again, one 800 523 9101. The mayor of Philadelphia giving a press conference a short time ago and then also taking uh, some questions from folks there. The mayor saying it is absolutely disastrous, an absolute disastrous mess, and saying he has never seen anything like this in my life. Never seen anything like this in my life. Matthew L. Wald uh, joins us um, now, and he is an accident expert. Uh, Matthew, you said that this is going to make it uh, one of Amtrak's worst accidents. Uh, yes, because the railroad actually has a has a pretty good safety record, and the Northeast Corridor generally has a pretty good safety record. They have occasional accidents where the, a track worker is struck, uh, but for both commuters and for that operate on the same track and the Amtrak trains. Uh, these accidents are infrequent, and there's a reason. They're pretty well engineered. They're pretty well maintained. Something has gone wrong here, either with the train or the track or both. They're both Amtrak's problem. They're both Amtrak's issue. Um, you know, they're, they're, in, the, in the past they've had they had a crash because uh, I think it was back in, in the uh, early 70s because the engineer was high, uh, was on drugs. Uh, you can get all sorts of problems. Uh, the train system is getting more automated, and that that uh, Mary Schiavo mentioned that uh, positive train control, and that can eliminate a category of accidents. But at the moment, we don't know what category this accident is in. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary Schiavo, you want to talk about that? Well, and uh, Matthew is exactly right. Positive train control is something that gives the train and and the and the conductor and the people working on the track, anyone in relationship with the train and the track, gives them information about where the train is on the track and what else is on the track. And it uses various sensors and, and you know, computer communications to give the conductor as much information as possible. However, it won't uh, stop things. For example, a tractor trailer pulls onto the track. It, the positive train control won't stop that kind or won't be able to give the engineer enough time to stop that kind of an accident from happening. But it is supposed to give information to the trains. For example, if, if two trains are on the same track and they're headed on a collision course or one isn't moving ahead fast enough, that's the kind of thing that positive train control can tell the engineer. can also tell, for example, if they're working on the track, that for some reason the train there's a work car on the track, uh, you know, a train car working on the track. Positive train control should give them that kind of information. Okay, uh, with, with Mary and, and Matthew on the phone, let's go over some of this information uh, here. Shortly after 9.30, uh, they got, right around 9.30, they got the call from the fire department uh, saying that there was an issue. That there, and once they got there, they said they had six overturned uh, train cars that they, that they saw. The train was going northbound en route from Washington, D.C., to New York again. It happened around 9:38 tonight. Five people confirmed dead. 243 people on board the train, and that includes five Amtrak employees. Um, they said that it was seven cars, including the engine, that were completely derailed from the track. 200 police officers, 120 fire personnel on the scene, along with um, the 
mayor and the chief, the fire chief there, anything like this in his life. Amtrak is asking people with questions about friends and about family members there. 1-800-523-9101. 1-800-523-9101. The mayor of Philadelphia, Michael Nutter, just moments ago. 243 individuals on this train, five of whom are Amtrak employees. Unfortunately, we can confirm at least five individuals deceased. This is a preliminary estimate. The trains, seven cars, including the engine, are in various stages of disarray, turned over, upside down, on their side. We are still investigating what's going on. A total of 200 police personnel responded to this incident as well. Most individuals were able to walk off of the train. At least five people dead uh, in this accident, at least. And the reason we say that is because the mayor says we don't know uh, what happened and we don't know why. And he's saying in order to get an accurate account, uh, an accurate count of the people who died, the people who were injured, where they are, that they need to match the manifest, the passenger manifest, meaning to the people who are at the hospital, people who are treated at the scene, people who possibly just walked away, um, and on and on and on. So they don't know exactly how many people yet, but they say at least five people uh, have died in this crash. Passengers on that train spoke out moments ago about what they experienced. We were in the front seat and this huge red suitcase just came flying at me. Um, our train was actually on its side, so it pushed me onto the side of the train. Um, it hit my chest. I think I have a few fractured ribs. I'm a nurse. Um, but, you know, I tried to help anybody who is, there's very, very many, there's many injured people on the train and they're very, very upset. My son um, went back and, tried and got everybody off our one car. He helped them out. There was a very small opening in the door and we were able to get out. And so your car actually toppled over. Yes, outside. we were in the last car and it was on the side. Yes. What was going through your mind as this was happening? That this is a nightmare and it can't be happening. Uh, it's unclear if anyone is still left on that train. At least 50 people were transported to the hospital. Again, and the mayor saying most of the people and um, the fire commissioner there saying most of the people were self-evacuees or self-evacuated. Um, at least 150 people walked off the train themselves. Many of those people are injured. Uh, they call those the walking wounded. And um, again, National Transportation Safety Board sending a go team. That team will arrive in the morning. Amtrak uh, was on the scene uh, saying that the Northeast Corridor shut down between New York and Washington, D.C. Uh, the mayor saying that everyone was there. The National Transportation Safety Board working on this. They'll get there tomorrow morning. Amtrak personnel there, the fire department, police, Homeland Security, SEPTA, um, and also the state police and the governor, Tom Wolf, uh, keeping, uh, keeping an eye on what's going on uh, in Philadelphia and offering uh, to give as much assistance as possible in this absolute disastrous mess. Absolute disastrous mess that happened. Five people now died, six in critical condition, five people at least uh, at this hour. Uh, Matthew L. Wald, I want to get back to